Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining us here. Um, want to wish everybody a wonderful, safe, and happy Thanksgiving. Um, I think if you look around, we can pretty much all find something to be thankful for. For sure. So, we're going to get this 1988 Mercury um, out of here and bring in the next victim. And I have kind of decided what I'm going to bring in here. And so I will show you that in just a second. So, let's get this Merc out and bring in the next one. Let's do it. What I was doing there was running my little backup kicker out of gas so I could store it. And 
and uh, so there's our next victim. It's a beautiful day. The temperature is around 10 degrees with no wind. And uh, we really haven't gotten any more snow than we had, maybe half an inch. But old Fred's pretty happy. He ain't got no white top. So he's pretty happy over there. Still got a smirk on his face though. He told me this ain't nothing. He said, I can take this standing on my web feet. Well, he's pretty happy. I even still got a few leaves on the old plum tree. But it's a little nippy. Here's our next victim. Yeah, she's gonna need a lot. But it says right there, Bombardier. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. Bombardier, Bombardier, however you say it. There she is. Good looking motor overall, but heck, it may. I don't even know. We got to do a fax check. See what we come up with. I'll be back. Okay, now this is the motor as I received it. Um, And you can see it's missing the recoil start. It's missing the transom clamps. One complete clamp and one just the handle. Um, the throttle seems really stiff. It's not real bad, but it should come on over and I don't know what's binding that but it's hitting right there already no it ain't yeah that, that handle ain't right I don't think maybe okay there's just I guess it's all right this is kind of loose no plastic bracket there but uh the first thing I'm gonna do I think is just go out and get a recoil start um, well, first, I'm going to, I'll take that back. I'm back up. I'm going to do a compression test and a spark check on it. And if that checks out, then I'm going to go get a recoil start and put on here, and we'll just see if it uh, fire up. It's also, there's supposed to be some little tin cup things that go over top of these. They're all there. I got those tin cups. So... Now let's see if it goes in and out of here. It do. There's forward, neutral, and reverse. Okay. And this 
Modello. This Modello. It is a an 05 2004. Uh, 2004. And so let me get some stuff. We'll do a fax check. I'll be back. Okay. I got my spark checker right here. I got the old spark spider. And put the half Milwaukee on it. Watch those two right there. See what we we'll get. Okay, we got some sparky on both. So, take off the sparky spider and let's get the compressionist chucker. Come on, you. Okay, now this is a dry compression check. I have not put anything in these cylinders. So, let's see what we end up with. Huh? Okay, here we go. I'm going to start that mess again. My gloves getting all hung up on my, my deal. On my deal. back of this thing you can't see it but looks a little bit salty and crusty back in here come on go yeah the heads head bolts and head cover bolts are a little salty I'll show you in a little bit are you in there are you in there Okay, now that ain't gonna work. I'm trying. It ain't gonna work. I'm just gonna let it hang there. But she's on zero. Let's see what we get. That's the bottom cylinder. And again, this was a dry test. What we get? What we get? We are looking at about 125, 30, about 131, 132. 131 or 132. So I'll just write it right on the coil. 131 on the box. Let's see what we get on the topis. Come on. Come on, you can't do it. Maybe not. Boy. Beep, 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 beep. But I don't really see anything out of place on the motor. We are on zero. See what we get. We got 1, 25, 30, 35, 40, about 140 on the top. Those are some pretty good numbers. And like I said, I haven't shot anything into those cylinders.
140 on the toppest. Now, the spark plugs are QL77JC4. And you can see they're pretty rusty and crusty. Um, the bottom one here looks a little oily. But the top one looks like it's pretty good, so I'll clean those up. So at this point, what I'm going to do is go out into my pile and get a recoil. And uh, we've got spark, we've got compression. Might as well see if this thing will fire up. Be right back. Okay, so went out and got me a recoil start. And... Uh, you can see it's the one with the two dog paws on it. And they come out. I squirted some lube in there. Then I put these tin cups that go over top of everything. But I got to do one more thing. I'm going to get a little bit of the anti geese and put on these bolts. Just a little, just a little, you know, you know, you know. Help it go down in there. And there we go. Put the antigeesum. And is that going to work? I think so. Here. Let me get a zippity doo dah. There's the zippity doo da 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 da. Let's see if this thing will pull over now. Ooh. Yeah. Now, I'm going to cheat because if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Um, and I am going to shoot a little. Well, it feels like gas is going in good to the car. That's good. That's a good sign. Okay, and she pumped up. Now, let's see. Yeah, and she's squirting down the throat with the primer. I say, let's throw this puppy in the old tank. Turn on a noisy sucker. And see if it might actually start. Boom. Okay, we are in neutral rooms. We are in the neutral rooms. Turn on a sucker noise box and open at least the hand door. So I don't suffocate myself. Well, you're going to see what I'm going to see. We got spark, we got compression. I can't. Oh, yeah, I can tighten that one. Let me. Let me get a vice grip. A little high on a grip. And tighten that. One clamp there.
forgot to spray some fried flow in it, but it's fried to start up. Let me try a little bit of a hack here. I'm going to put my glove right in there, give it just a little more gas.
this carburetor needs good adjusting, cleaning. And our everything. wondering why I ain't outside or got my main garage door open there you go see that would be the 15 and that would be the 16 so it's about 16 17 degrees and we're going for a low tonight of four to five degrees so it still ain't really warmed up yet but I hope it will in a day or two but right now we're getting down to five degrees at night too cold for that old outdoor running well um she's a runner now this motor that copper raper is gonna have to come off there and be cleaned up I'll pull the top plastic piece off and get that all clean pull apart the copy to bits and get it all cleaned up and uh, I think that would even make it run better um, transom clamps and uh, it's dirty <laughs> it's dirty inside we got to do something about that so we've got to give it a bath After we give it a bath, maybe a little touch up here and there on the paint and stuff. And the reason why is because this being a 2004, I thought it would be a good candidate. A good candidate. For what you say? I'm going to do the full Monte on this one. That's right. I'm going to do the full Monty. The recoil back off, the flywheel off, everything under there gets good cleaning. Um, I didn't show it to you back where the head cover bolts are and the head bolts. There's some white powdery yuck in there that needs to come out of there and get all cleaned up, spray painted and looking good. But what I mean by the full Monty is we're going to put electric start on here. Um, electric start switch. And then that's as far as a lot of people take these, these old two-strokers. And then in this case, 2004, for me, for my parts, it's fairly late model. Heck, I ain't even sure how late Johnson made them. But if I remember right, I had a 40 two-stroke or Johnson in here that was a 2006 it was a five or six but uh, how long they made this the the 30 if they went up into 2006 but I know they ended it right around 2005 2006 and this one on the bonnet it says Bombardier oh, oh, oh. but um so a lot of people will get a hold of the starter and the starter bracket and uh, that's where they'll stop. But on this one we're going to pull the flywheel and everything and put a, a, a charge coil under there, elect, um, a lightering coil for the charge system and a rectifier so it'll charge your battery. And we're going to do the full Monty on this one and get it all up. Uh, new transom clamps and get it really clean and stuff like that and uh, and then I think I'll hang on to this one that's what I think I'll do I'll put it in my collection because I would like to have a good electric start 
uh, charger battery, two-stroker Johnson, um, in about this size because I can still lift this thing and move it around. Um, and so if something happened to one of my engines on my boats, I could always grab this one, throw it on there, throw in a battery, and head out. You understand. So that's what we're going to do with this when we're going to do the full Monty. But uh, I just wanted to get it in here, show you what the next project was, show you what we're dealing with. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing in the next couple of videos. So, And then I've got another one right behind this one that's going to be similar. But uh, I'm going to do it up for a friend. So this one's getting a little long. I hope that you all had a fantastic and safe Thanksgiving. And didn't eat too much like I did. All them desserts. That pecan. 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 But I eat some. That's for sure. So, got to go on a diet here soon. But, uh, not before Christmas. You think I'm nuts? Anyway, that's going to be a wrap on this. I want to thank you for checking out the videos and as always that's one more hack from Kodiak please like share and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host Cody Bass